Hi, good evening and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at sentiment analysis, Buzziant and Siebel producing social CRM. Sentiment analysis in Buzziant, uh, there's an administration feature which allows us to add new elements by brand to signal positive or negative sentiment. For the end user, it's very visual. For the administrator, it's very simple, adding new words and signaling whether they're positive or negative. We'll also spend a little bit of time seeing how these words, when they're signaled inside Buzziant, will enable us within Siebel, for example, to use Siebel workflow to capture the value from the sentiment tag and to use it in our Siebel CRM system to make sure that the end user experience is sufficiently clear and makes sentiment detection easy as can be. Uh, this is where you can find us on the web. I look forward to seeing you soon. So as I said a moment ago, inside the Buzziant Enterprise app, we'll find um, a list of sentiment terms and whether they are highly negative, highly positive, or somewhere in between. And we are able to create new words and associate levels of sentiment with them and associate them with our brand or brands. Now looking back inside Siebel Tools, I've created yet another workflow here. Just a copy of the ones that we saw in the earlier existing screencast, so don't hesitate to go back to them. And in one of the steps, once we have received our output from the Buzziant API web service call, I am going to track the sentiment tag and I'm going to place it into a variable along with various other pieces of valuable information from the API call. And I'm going to create an activity at the end of the workflow signaling the new piece of information to the user. I've also configured a in icon map and a pick list so that it can be very visual for the end user. As you can see, I'm using it to, to uh, create a very high priority activity. So I've created bitmaps to go with that. Let's simulate our workflow. By the magic of Hollywood, we'll do it nice and quickly. So what's happening here is as normal as in the previous examples, I'm capturing the output from the uh, Buzziant API. In this case, I'm using the XML output. And once I have the XML output, I will focus only on the parts of the property set that I require. I will populate a variable with the sentiment value, in this case, minus 27, which is not good. And also, of course, I will capture the content of the post itself, the text, if you will, of the message. Let's finish this off and our simulation is done. And let's go and see what this means for the end user in Siebel. So I'm going to go straight to the service request, which has had the activity associated with it. There it is. And we have both the text of the original message. In this case, it was a tweet. And I have appended various other pieces of useful information. And of course, I have my graphical icon map linked to the pick list of priority statuses so that if further tweets come in that have different sentiment, I could associate them with different values and have a nice, simple, but effective visual cue for my end users. And they can then take the necessary actions to either use one of our existing workflow features like uh, carrying on and tweeting directly to the original poster. Or of course, they could be using the Buzziant Enterprise application itself to uh, reply directly to the post. As you can see here, this is a screenshot from the Buzziant Enterprise application with the sentiment analysis in place as standard and the color coding so that it's very visual. And of course, I could choose to continue my conversation here instead and hopefully uh, manage the situation. Over time, of course, I want to be tracking the bigger picture, the general situation in terms of sentiment for my brands. And this is where Buzzy and Enterprise excels in producing actionable business intelligence and being able to read the ongoing flow of data to see how the sentiment is being tracked over 30 days over a period of time that makes sense for my business. So let's do a quick summary of what we've seen today. We've been speaking about sentiment analysis with Buzzient and using Siebel CRM. We saw how the administration screen lets administrators add new words and tag them as being positive and negative and so on. The user interface is extremely colorful and easy to follow. The administration screen lets us add new keywords and associate them with our different brands, as well as tagging them for sentiment score, if you will. And this will allow us both to uh, add the information to our Siebel workflow by associating a variable with the information from the sentiment tag 
and also to use that information wisely to ensure that the Siebel CRM end user experience is colourful and easy to follow. This is us. Look forward to seeing you on the web. Take care.